Hi there, I'm Chang, and now I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite movies called Mulholland Drive. I'm not sure all of you watched this movie before, but I think this is a compelling, well directed, and great movie to see. Um, it's caught to me from the beginning scenes with the light of the city and the beautiful women, so I thought maybe it's a romantic love story. But do you know how to fan after two hours later? Well, I really like that I do, didn't understand what people are doing and thinking in that movie. So I, so I thought, oh my god, what's happening? Could anyone tell me what's happening in the movie? And it kept, it continued to keep me like that about uh, 30 minutes later until the end. And the main actress is dead. Well, that's crap. I I didn't comprehend that so much, so I decided to find out more about Mulholland Drive. After two hours of uh, researching, I realized that Mulholland Drive isn't isn't an ordinary movie. It is a surrealistic movie, and David Lynch, who uh, directed the film, is well known by his surrealist movie. So, what's going on in Mulholland Drive? Well, I found out that it uh, is divided into two halves and the first half is about Diane's dream world and all the beautiful things she has. Um, she is a pretty woman with her, with her dream to be an actress and she almost had that dream, of course, in her dream. And the second half, uh, she is wakes up, wakes up and is fed with her reality. She is a fan artist and is who has who has been dumped by her lover, so she disappointed to herself and decided to kill herself by the gun. Well, it may be a sad story, but anyway, I like it because as the message as it gives, I would say that the main message is um, the difference between our dreams and our reality. Maybe we dream our dreams, but not uh, not every time we catch it. So that is my movie. What about you? Have you ever watched any confusing film like me? Let's share with everyone. So and by the way, have a great time with them. I else.